Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Lulu and let's get the Lulu. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, I'm an intuitive tarot reader and I get the Lulu up in the building. Cancer, this is going to be a reading for all you guys. If you have Cancer or anyone in your chart, this is your reading for you. So let's get with it. I hope this message is bringing you some type of clarity and that they're helpful. So Spirit, Universe, and Sisters, Angels. Please protect me and my viewers from any negative energies, entities, or thoughts. And please help me get the most clearest, sincere, truthful messages for everyone watching it. Spirit, what does my cancer need to know I'm here today? We got the strength card. Ooh, cancer. Strongly here is something about you being extra loyal to somebody and submissive. Or like just being there, constantly nurturing, giving. I feel like you've been giving your all to somebody or something. Seven of Swords in the back of the deck. Which means you've also been protecting yourself as well. Or trying to protect yourself. But let's get some more. We got two, excuse me, confirmation bird. Oh my God, Cancer, I'm seeing like, there's something about double of everything. Like, you could be seeing double, or you could have a twin, your person can have a twin. I have no idea, I'm just channeling here. Let's see, king of coins. Ooh. Okay, Cancer. Who is this handsome man or woman? Beautiful woman. Okay, so I don't know, but this is giving like. I need to take a sip of water. Hold on a second. This is not. This, 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 this does not happen to me in the other reading I just did. I'm getting hot. I'm getting spicy. I'm getting like what? Like somebody's going. Like you, you, you know. You see this man right here? How he's like going like this? Somebody's like, when they see you, they just feel like, damn, who's that sexy motherfucker over there? Wow. Hey, who is that? We need to get to know them. Like, and the way they look, and they just like. Like, this could also be your partner that constantly looks at you like that. For somebody here in particular, your partner, or you have, have a lot of tattoos. Either way, this is somebody that's really classy that you've been loyal to or that you want to be loyal to. Even if it is not about loyalty, I'm going to hear something about you being submissive and willing. Like, I don't know, you guys are very passionate towards each other, but you're also very cautious and like protective maybe you guys are addicted to each other sexually cancer spicy oh my god this is giving like i'm thirsty for your love baby okay and i feel like there's swag the i don't know i can't help but like he touching my hair i feel like i'm flirting with you <laughs> maybe this is the energy they give off to you um, there's something about you guys being submissive to this person and this person loves or this person being submissive to you that this person loves. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys can have blonde hair here. Okay, what do we got? We got the seven of cups. With the page of swords. This person can have a lot of options. Or you could have a lot of options, right? But there's something different about this person. Or this person feels like there's something different about you in particular. Um, I feel like you guys have been speaking to each other recently. Or have been trying to communicate. Um, you know, maybe going out. Thinking about going out in the future. Planning dates and stuff like that. There's something about here you might be hesitating but you also are like willing to 
So it's like you're kind of undecisive here at Cancer on what to do with this person. For some of you guys, you already got a taste of this. Or they got already got a taste of you. I don't know. Take it as a apply. But they just like want more and want more and want more. For some of you guys, it could be different type of races here or nationalities. Um, where you could be, um, you know, like black and Spanish or like black and Spanish or Latina, or you could be, um, white and Latina, white and black, um, or you could be like, um, Greek and Spanish, um, Russian and Spanish, I just heard, or black. I don't know. You take it as a apply. There's so many options out there. But those were the ones that spirit brought out to my attention in particular. Let's see what else spirit. What else from my cancer is watching. Thank you. Nine of Wands. Mm. Okay. With the full on the back of the deck. So, Cancer, I'm definitely getting, like, there's a certain situation you either been dealing with for a while here, or, like, you just started dealing with this person for a little bit. Take it as it applies. Either way, both of you guys have options here. I see the different flavors and tastes and skins and, I don't know, there's just nationalities and all, the, all types of flavors I'm just hearing. And you feel like you should be able to continue to talk to all, all your other options. Like, I feel like you're not ready to commit, and neither is this person. But you guys are very attracted to each other here. One person in particular. And I'm getting this could be an earth sign here. So that could be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or that could be in their chart. Um... Either way, you guys are like stepping up in ladders here or in levels as far as with this person in particular. You guys are going to continue and we willing to take the risk here with this person. But you're afraid of like this person hurting you with the five of swords right behind that. You're like, I'll be, I'll like, I'll get up and go at any moment if need to be. I ain't trying to pull up with nothing. Maybe some of you guys have passed relationships that you dealt with that you feel like you don't ever want to deal with that so you're very cautious in the situation here or this person can have that situation going on but first let's go ahead and clarify the strength card here what's the strength card with for well, my cases watching thank you we got the justice Can we get one more with the strength card with the justice? We got the four of wands. Oh my gosh. I feel like you guys value this relationship in particular with this king of coins um energy here, whether they're a female or a male, that this is very resonating for you. I feel like this is like some type of justice that comes in for you in particular as far as wanting a partner um there's gonna be some type of celebration here maybe you guys are gonna finally commit with this person or like if you've been with this person you're finally like moving in together or like leveling up in some type of shape in the relationship here I feel like you guys balance each other out. Like, maybe you guys are total opposites here, but you guys mirror each other a lot. And I'm, I feel like you guys love each other. And every inch of you guys' body, you guys love. Like, I don't know. There's something about, like, the taste of your body, the touch of your skin. 
is giving they love it like they really love you cancer they're really into you whoever this person is and i feel like there's gonna be commitment here in the long run eventually not like mad fast but this is what's meant for you and this person even though that's you guys might not be seeing it like that for some of you guys you want this or you've been manifesting this but you didn't think it will be with this actual person here yeah we got the ten of cups to clarify the king of coins so this is giving like this person makes you real 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 like i'm talking about like tremendously happy like they make you feel real joyful they make you feel like finally i found the person for me like they make you feel like this tingling sensation like when you were a kid and you finally get those butterfly feelings like oh my god my first love so sweet they brought me flowers it's like like that like their first you know your first puppy love kind of is what is given they make you real like feel comfortable with themselves they make you feel confident within yourself they make you feel happy they make you feel like your body is just perfect they make you feel like you could get naked with them at any time like they don't you don't really care oh 11 11 on the clock you guys could be watching that or seeing that <laughs> i don't know I, you guys could be really seeing 11 11 or 11 11 could be significant and i'm getting twin flame with that so 11 11 is about twin flame so this could be your twin flame or your soulmate here and i did say something about mirroring each other so 11 11 does mirror each other thank you for confirming spirit you guys could be protecting yourself from the relationship regardless with the seven ones in the back of the deck. But this person does make you real happy. And you make them real happy too. What's the king of coins with the ten of cups here? Sir? Like I'm talking about real, real happy. Like real, 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 real happy. Five of wands. With the six of wands. Okay. With the eight of swords in the back of the deck. So this is giving like, even though this make you, this person may make you real, like make you feel comfortable and happy, right? There could have been certain competitions that you have to deal with in the past that you're afraid or you have doubt and fear about that coming up again. But spirit wants you to know with the six of one that that's not happening. Like this, this person is for you. You're gonna have victory with this person. You guys are meant to be seen together. You guys are meant to be like you guys are meant to be. The lessons you went through. The things that you have gone through were for a reason. Mm -hmm. With the Eight of Swords, you might feel stuck with this person. Or you might feel like there's certain um, things that you are not letting go of. Yeah, like you, as far as emotions or like back things that they could have done to you in the past. That you're like, I don't know if I can let go of this. Or like, I'm going to always remember this. Either way, I feel like spirit wants you to know you're going to have victories with this person. Like, there's something about you guys learning from each other, learning through the cycles. And not never getting enough of each other. And with the 11-11 twin flame, like, mirroring each other type of thing. I feel like this is meant to be. This is a divine connection that nobody can come in between. No matter how much competition there is or there was. What's the seven of cups here for Kansas? What's the seven of cups with all my cancer watching? We got the high priestess. So I feel like you guys know this already. Like this this is gonna be like kind of a confirmation. The high priestess is somebody that has like inner knowledge is very aware very spiritual and definitely has a divine connection to spirit a very strong divine connection so i feel like um you guys can oh okay so i'm getting you guys could be be i can't even speak let, let me let this out let me take a sip of water i don't want to get ahead of myself but it's given cancer where you get intuitive knowledges you get intuitive knowledge and you get intuitive feelings as well as 
um, you know that this person is meant for you. Like, you just felt it in your energy. And I feel like they kind of felt it too. But they just, like, don't want to tell you. Or you don't want to tell this person. And you guys both felt it at the same time. Like, it was just like a, you know, like a lightning. Like, oh my gosh. Whoa. Like, that just happened. That was magical. Like, fireworks went off. And it was just magical, right? Period. And for some of you guys, you guys could be into the craft, like the spiritual craft or religious here. Like, you just have very strong beliefs, right? And this could be as far as, like, when it comes to your lover, you have very strong beliefs. Or, like, you guys are just very spiritual. So, this could be something that your person is very aware of. Off, or they could be very special as well. Take it as it applies. And you could be very aware of this. And there's something about uh, maybe being afraid of judgment. As we got it in the back of the deck. But like I said, you guys mirror each other. So there's nothing to be worried about. It might feel uncomfortable to let them know how you are. Or they might feel uncomfortable to let you know how they are truly are how spiritual they are how aware they are how where you are how spiritual you are but spirit wants you to know that there's not gonna be a judgment call you guys really marry each other more than you think mm -hmm. what's the seven of cups with the high priestess here for my cancer question okay we got the six of coins Oh, so cute. Some of you guys can have pets. So, some cat, some dogs, even a birdie or a fish. I just heard. Or you guys can't have this pet together. Okay, we also got the Ace of Coins as well. So, what I'm getting here with this is like... Even money is about to come up for you. Like, I don't know. There's, like, so many options opening up for you. And I feel like you already been feeling this. Like, as far as career is opening up. As far as your relationship is opening up. Like, and, and it's a new, like, a transformation coming in for you, kind of. Cancel. I'm hearing like you guys are both going to be working hard in the relationship and like working on letting go of fears and also like speaking up. Yeah, speaking up. Ace of Swords in the back of the deck. Speaking up, communicating, not letting um your doubts and fear get the best of you or like or this person. And either way, this is going to be new. Like Ace of Swords, Ace of of pentacles is all new starts coming in in love and career in within you it's just giving like transformation awareness loyalty to self and finding value within you and the relationships period cancer so what's the page of swords here for my cancer Some of you guys can have dreadlocks here and have like real, like a lot of tattoos. I'm getting, I'm hearing like full body, but it doesn't have to be like you can have tattoos on all over your arms and not your legs or like one part, one arm and one leg, something like that. You take it as it applies. I'm getting like butterfly tattoos. Yeah, and roses. There's something here about you guys could have you could have matching tattoos as well. But we got here the moon. Mm. Okay. With the five of coins in the back of the deck. So you you could feel like there's secrets when it comes to this person. Or you could feel like they're mysterious. So you, you're kind of speaking up on this, that you feel uncomfortable, you want them to open up, 
or they could be feeling like you're mysterious and you keep secrets and they're trying to speak up on it we got here let's see the judgment yeah you guys could be afraid of judgment or your person could be afraid of judgment spirit wants you to know to continue taking a rest because this is going to be worth it is what i'm getting can we get one more here what's the page of swords with the moon and the judgment card we got two more we got the empress and the hermit with the world yeah there's gonna be a cycle coming to end and there's gonna be a new transformation here for both of you guys um i feel like you guys are gonna be more aware of what's going on around you what you need to do the way you need to move for each other i feel like you guys are gonna be magnetically drawn to each other um and there's gonna be a, a reconciliation for some of you guys if you're not together right now take that as a if it applies if not let it fly some of you guys could be seeing like weird things happen around you like getting flashes of stuff like from the corner of your eyes because i just seen that out of nowhere and i haven't been seeing that so that could be something that's happening to you guys if not let it fly some of you guys could love the color white or um could be wearing a lot of white recently or blue as well but i'm getting here as well like you guys are just gonna be in this state where there's not gonna be judgment towards each other there's gonna be some more opening up about the situation um and using more of your intuition as well and this person as well so there's gonna be a cycle coming to end for the both of you and there's a new star here happening in this relationship cancer that's what is given period it was the nine of swords i mean nine of wands eight of swords some of you guys can be feeling stuck with a past situation maybe with money could be some of you guys or it could be as far as communication or like you could feel like your person is stuck they don't want to really talk we got the emperor maybe they're like trying to lean back and not tell you everything that maybe that's the way they move and it's because they want everything to come out great um they want to show you that they could be great in every situation and manage it uh if need to be we got the page of coins with the three of coins and the king of wands in the back of the deck so that's given like your person here if they're not as stable as they want to be or if you're not as stable as want if you as you want to be this is giving the energy that they want you to know that no matter what it is is happening if they feel stuck over there they're still going to be there for you even if it's not like their full attention they're still going to give you attention okay um they want you to know that there's there's always going to be room for you in a way uh, no matter what is happening, okay? And no matter what it is that you need. Uh, and no matter what's happening with them, like, even if they're real stable and, like, a businessman, because I am getting that with the king of coins, that they're very stable, they're outgoing, um, they love they love to have everything they want and need for their family. So, you know, they're real classy. They they got it. They, they got it. They got that shit. They're a boss, right? Whether they're a female or a male, right? But they want you to be in that state of mind too. So they want you to know that they you, they got your back regardless of what's happening. They're really passionate about you. And they really mean when they say that. Okay? They really value their family. They really value you. And to know that you're deserving of everything that's coming. Because I feel like they're going to be really sweet and very given. Like there's going to be a change. There's going to be a transformation. We're going to get some from the DI box what because why not why not let's see let's give us some more spirit for my cancer i'll teach you a lesson yes it's like they want to teach you and they there's certain things that you have to teach them as well okay it's an equal give and take here in this situation or it could also be like you know you they could teach you as far as career financial stability and stuff like that or opening up networking and getting to know people socializing communicating or whatnot and you could be teaching them how to be more lovable more nurturing or like you know more passionate 
more affectionate or you i don't know or you could be helping them heal it could be anything let's see what else for my cancer is watching excited so you guys are extremely excited about this situation or you're about to be and this person as well mm -hmm. it's giving i'm full of joy yeah <laughs> can't get away Ooh. Yeah, so it's like they always run back. There's attachments here. I did get that. This could also be addictions or like past people that you guys are attached to or your person. Or it could just be you guys are attached to each other. It's like you in a twin flame situation and we always run back no matter what happens, right? So that could be what was what's going on here. Tears. Ooh, let's see what it says. Don't ever discount the wonder of your tears. They can be healing waters and a stream of joy. Sometimes they are the best words the heart can speak. William Paul Young. I quote. Uh, period. So I feel like Spirit is telling you with this that don't ever discount your tears. Those are healing powerful things just coming out of your eyes whether you like to know this or not and i feel like you cross that into your person i did just said that you help them heal 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 i can't even say that anyways don't laugh at me <laughs> um but it's like you know the, maybe those are the best words a person can even speak sometimes and i feel like you kind of helping them heal their heart and like actually let their emotions out sometimes because that's always needed or you could just be letting out your emotion. It's helping them heal in a way because you're letting them know that there's pure love out there still, okay? Let's see what else we got. God will test you because he wants you to develop a walk with him that is not based on your fluation, on a flu, fluating emotions, but on your commitment to him as you walk by faith greg greg Laurie, a quote so i feel like spirit's telling you that you're being tested here and he wants you to develop here in, in this walk and this journey in this situation um you know the the balance of emotions uh, the fluation the flow okay and to commit to it commit to this person commit to yourself commit to something uh huh, and continue to have faith in it because no matter what it is that you choose, you all gonna get it. Can't say you're powerful, whether you like, like you, whether you know this or not, you are, and you have so much going for yourself, and you also have so much coming, and you have a wonderful person that is willing to like be there for you and value you. Like I know this, this might be something different for some of you guys, but it's meant. Like, you guys are meant for each other is what I'm getting. Um, it might not be the most comfortable or, like, the easiest, but it's what's meant. Like, this is a, a divine connection I'm getting here. Let me get one last one, Spirit. Okay, so we got Throat Chakra. Ooh, with the color blue. I did get the color blue earlier, so thank you for confirming, Spirit. Um, the... Throat chakra is about communication, speaking up with confidence. Um, so I feel like you guys could be having communication problems or not feeling as confident as you want or your person could be. That's why it's bringing brought out here. So take it as it applies. If not, let it fly. But we ain't done yet. We're going to get one final card here from my new crystal ball. Crystal ball. Crystal ball oracle cards. Okay, this is just gonna be a single, like one card pull to see what else spirit might have to say for my cancers. Any final message on what to do in the situation, spirit? For my cancers watching, thank you. We got a yes. So if you had any type of question or if there was any type of doubt or any type of thing that you wanted to like get clarification on mm -hmm. it's a strong yes baby okay and we also got choose a new direction okay so i feel like this is spirit telling you to 
why if you were like taking an angry approach or being like too aggressive maybe slow it down and be more loving if you were being too loving and too soft and make your person feel like damn she's a little bit too clenchy back it up be a little spicy gal gay gal crazy maybe you know block him a day or two just swish it up take a different approach because either way this person's not for you you guys aren't meant for each other okay just just need a a swish up here and um either way i see you like you guys are like meant for each other it's gonna be loyal to there's gonna be value and there's gonna be amazing new moments um for the both of you guys you guys might not have expected this or this is something that that you guys might not plan but it's happening and i feel like it's divine okay but I hope that resonated for you, Cancer. And if it did, please let me know how to down below in the comment section. I love to read you guys' comment. And if you like the box with your girl, the Lulu, Lulu, your face, the bookie, okay? Period. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notif notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Share, like, and comment. If you like my content and you like the vlog, so you know I'm a Zoe with your girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love you, Kansas. I'm a Cancer Moon, but anyway, <laughs> I really do. I hope to see you on the next one and stay blessed, stay connected. Mm -hmm.